for some better news. Instead of chasing money and let it control everything in your life, why don't you do the reverse of that? What I focus on, what I tell my people to focus on, don't worry about sales. It'll come. Focus on increasing your value, whatever value you have, or create more value every single day. Why? Because value is built based on principles, based on certain moral values based on a strong foundation. And when you're increasing your value and you're developing more value, guess what happens? Money starts to chase you. Hmm. Interesting concept, right? So you can spend your day and the only thing, the most valuable commodity we have is time, right? So you can either... Spend your time increasing your value, developing more value, or chasing money. I choose to exchange my time for value. And you can have the best product, the best services. If you don't have personal value, it doesn't matter what product or services you have. People are not going to buy from you. Why? Because the value people look at is people's word and their character and who they are and how they Present themselves. That is the brand. Everything else comes from that. So I make an effort every single day to increase my value with as many business people that I speak with every day. And I have to show and give and offer and share that value every single day. Because I know if I do that, I will get paid regardless. Money will follow my value. Because people will trust that. People will know that I'm not about the sale. I'm not about the money. I'm about the relationship. And relationships should be built on value, not money. Money is the scorecard or the end result of the valuable relationship you develop. Excuse me. Does that make sense? So for me, I don't chase money. Money is not my motivating factor. I know it sounds strange to some of you people, but I really don't care. I don't get up every day and say, oh, today I'm going to make 100 grand. I could if I want to. It's easy. But that's not my motivation. What I do is every day I say, how am I going to be more valuable today than yesterday? And that means working on my word, my character, who I am and what I do and what I represent. How do I get better at my profession? How? Talking with more business people. Getting feedback and correcting what needs to be corrected. And the sale is easy. That comes automatic for me. Why? Because I don't focus on it. It's not my motivation. If I have something of value and I'm sharing it and I'm giving it and I'm offering it and I'm giving it everything that I have, they either see it and they pay for it or they don't see it and they don't buy. It's just that simple. Because at the end, I am the value. I am the commodity. I am what people buy. The product and services I offer just comes with it. It's a bonus. So when you're chasing money, you may not realize this. You will start compromising how you think. You start to justify it's okay to go in the gray area here or do a little of this and deceive somebody they may not know so you think it's okay and once you get used to that it becomes part of who you are that's the corruption because money is the root of all evil whether you like to hear it or not i don't care it's the truth and i challenge you that money is not the cause of the problems in society today why do people steal? Because they know they could sell it in the black market because somebody pay them what? Money. Why do people inflate the prices on potato chips? They've got more air than potato chips. I know it sounds crazy, right? They're giving you less and they're charging you more. That's greed, right? Well, what, what is about money? So you have to understand, when you're chasing money, there will be some consequences in your life. 
that may not hit right away, but it may be a compound effect. But if you take that same energy and you say every day, listen, I'm going to increase my value. How do I increase my value? What can I develop to increase my value? How do I become better as, how do I better my character? How can I continue to strengthen my word? How can I offer more value? Without, without thinking about the end result of the sale of the money. Because what you don't realize it, when you're chasing money, you're hurting people. Because instead of building relationships, you're building a facade. Money is the relationship for you. It was for me. And the greatest thing that happened to me was I lost it all. That was the hardest test and the most rewarding thing that could ever happen to you or have happened to me. So, again, I encourage you, you business owners, entrepreneur, and salespeople, whether you're starting a new business or you're thinking about it or you're involved in the business and you want to make changes, don't chase money. Money will be the end result of what you're offering. Instead, focus on how do I make this product better? How do I make it more valuable? How do I make it more affordable for people? Just because you make a high profit margin doesn't mean you should, right? But we get greedy. Because the money becomes the ultimate goal. The money becomes the ultimate God. And money, in my opinion, gives us all false security. Because it could be taken away, right? So why chase something that could be taken away instead of increasing your value and no one can take that away? No one can take that away. No one can take away your knowledge and your wisdom. And the truth, they can't, but they could take away your money and your material things and your health and your family, and your bank accounts and your credit cards and your social media. All that could be taken away. All right. Anyway, guys, this is Paul's mindset and attitude. You know, this is where sales happen. This is how I live my life. And I just want to share that with you that, you know, don't chase money, guys. Always focus on value. Whatever value you have, keep improving on it. Or create more value or develop more value to increase the value you have right now. And if you do that, watch you develop more profitable relationships. Watch you, in my opinion, be more happier and content with what you have. Does that make sense? Share your comments. Let me know what you think. I hope this was helpful. I hope if it pissed some people off that it got them to think about and making some changes, you know? And so if you're watching this, you know, when I upload it on my YouTube channel, smash the like button, share your comments, hit the subscription button, and